Hey guys, welcome back to another GarCP video, and this video is going to be a review style video. Today we're going to be reviewing a third party set of props for the Mavic Air. These props are made by Master Airscrew, and don't worry, they were not sent to me. I spent my own $20 on these props. And as far as I can tell, these are a nice set of props. But what the bad thing is, is this packaging. I mean, look at this packaging. All right, enough about the packaging. Let's crack this thing open and tell you what's inside the box. So first and foremost, you do get the props and they come inside a little white carrying pouch. Secondly, you do get a uh, piece of paper that is very important. Make sure you read that piece of paper. Now the third thing that I am showing right here is the gain adjustments that you have to adjust on your Mavic Air uh, before you start flying with these new props. You really don't have to change the gain, but if Master Airscrew is saying this should be the gain with these propellers, uh, I would trust them on that. So uh, you should probably adjust the gain as well. And that's all that comes inside the box. Now I got the light blue propellers and I think that they look pretty nice on the uh, black DJI Mavic Air. Other colors of these props are magenta and black. Now that we've seen what's inside the box, let's see how it performs. For the first test, I decided to see if I would get any motor errors in sport mode. And I was excited to see that I got absolutely no motor errors from these props. Even the sound in sport mode compared to the stock props was improved. I had a microphone recording the sound of the drone at ground level while it was up at 100 feet, and you could barely hear it, which was amazing. Battery life was my second concern for these props. The stock props have always given a reasonable amount of flight time, but I wanted to see if the ones from Master Airscrew did better. I let the drone hover in place until the battery reached 30% with both props installed. The stock props flew for 13 minutes and 10 seconds. while the Master Air Screw's version 2 props flew for 14 minutes and 1 seconds. If battery life is a concern for you with the Mavic Air, consider getting these props. The next two tests are pretty related to each other and they are loudness and pitch. The decibel meter that you can barely see reads not too much of a difference between the two, with the stock maxing out at 86 decibels and Master Air Screws maxing out at 85 decibels. Pitch is a different story, however. The stock props have always had me running for my life because I thought a swarm of bees was always headed for me. Master Air Screws props have a deeper and less annoying pitch that makes them appear quieter. In conclusion, the props from Master Airscrew version 2, um, they are amazing. Like, they are way better than the stock props. They have a lower pitch, which makes it less annoying. It, uh, it drowns out that B noise that these, uh, the stock propellers there, the stock propellers are actually in this bag because the, uh, the Master Airscrew propellers, they're on my drone, and that is where they're gonna stay, uh, until, I guess they break and I have to buy new ones, so... Uh, yeah, these these props from Master Airscrew, they're amazing. They're only $20. Uh, if you guys want, want some, pick them up. They are they are amazing. If you have a Mavic Air, I would, I would definitely recommend them. Um, now, if I do come into contact with any problems with these props, I will probably make another video about that. But as for now, they are amazing and they are way better than the uh, stock props. And the stock props will never go back on my drone <laughs> now that these things are made. Master Airscrew, you did a great job with these props. See you guys in the next video.